It's uh, Wednesday evening, um, uh, uh, December 22nd, 2010, just a few days before Christmas. And um, what you are looking at right now is uh, the Packard Build Multimedia R501 Mini Tower Computer from 1997. I bought this at Value Village um, several weeks ago for $8. Um, it's just a typical Packard Bell computer of 1997. Uh, and believe it or not, I am not keeping this computer. I am actually setting this computer up to give to a friend of mine um, who is into vintage computing. Um, I'm going to give this to my friend on um, Friday, which is Christmas Eve, for, as a Christmas present. Hopefully they will really enjoy it. It's a um, good solid Packard Bell machine, um, even though the front of it has yellowed. As is typical of many Packard Bells. Okay, here's the spec sticker. This floppy's out of the way. Alright, uh, we got has a 200 megahertz Intel Pentium processor with MMX technology, a 2.1 gigabyte hard drive, 16 megabytes of EDO RAM upgradable to 128. Um, it had a 16 speed um, CD-ROM drive, but it was not working properly, so I just put this replacement in there. Two USB ports on the back, um, which with this old of a computer, they're they're pretty much useless. 64-bit <laughs> graphics card, um, an S3 card by the way, with two megabytes of EDO video memory. Uh, okay, but that's pretty much the basics. Uh, so there used to be another sticker right there, but it's faded to badly. So, uh, let's go ahead and turn this computer on. I'm hooked up to this monitor right now. AMI BIOS. Starting Windows 95. I did use the the black um, Windows 95 Master CD on this computer from 1995 because the original installation of this was a little too new. In fact, it, it had the Navigator Assistant instead of plain old Navigator, which with this it's just a little toolbar. <laughs> I don't have any speakers hooked up, hooked up to it right now. But uh, there's really not much on here. Oh, hope that wasn't anything important. <laughs> uh, I'm just using this optical mouse. Okay. License to Billy Core, even though this is technically not going to be my computer. <laughs> like I said, this computer is ready to go. It's um, a good computer. I'm just going to be. The main reason I'm getting rid of it is, is that this Packard Bell is too much like my um, Multimedia S606. There's really nothing too um, special about this one. I'm mainly interested in the Packard Bell computers made in 1995 and 1996. Um, so um, really, I really have no use for this particular Packard Bell. Although I still would love to collect even more Packard Bells, just this one. Ah, eh, nothing, nothing too fancy about it. But anyway, I digress. Um, now, an interesting fact about Packard Bells is there. If you have the original hard drive in your Packard Bell, it will. Um, there's a hidden thing on the on the its hard drive that has all your system information for your system credentials so, so no matter what you do with your hard drive as long as 
you have the system credentials program on here you can pull up the original information about this particular machine including this one okay um, R501 there's the hard drive format number which I don't have the master CD for <laughs> Let's see. I can pull up the test slash manufacturing date. Okay, exceeds all test parameters. Test date July 29th, 1997. I was just about to enter um, second grade when this computer was built. Go to device manager, see what we got. Okay, an LG CD ROM, which I stuck in there myself. Display adapters, it's an S3 Trio 64V, which was a very popular display adapter back in 1997. Uh, Packard Bell sound card. Um, the one that came with this one, I did not have drivers for, so I stuck in an older Packard Bell sound card, which the Master CD had drivers for. I just didn't, the one I had was, I just couldn't find the drivers for. So, I guess we'll pull up Navigator real quick. Like I said, there is no, no audio right now, only because I don't have the speakers plugged up. This is Navigator 3.5, by the way. But yeah, it's a um, very nice Packard Bell here. Just don't have any use for this particular Packard Bell. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and shut it down. It's now safe to turn off your computer. Okay, I'll go ahead and shut it down. So it's a quiet computer too. But yeah, this this is that's the um, Packard Bell Multimedia R501 for you. So I um, just wanted to get it on camera right before I give it away. So. This is Billy Core signing off on December 22nd, 2010. Goodbye.